Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Gorilla for a lot. And, um, I'm, this is gonna be another sniper tip trick video, kinda. Um, I'll start off with this right here. In close range, when you, especially with the intervention, since you only got one shot, like, I was really close to that guy. I got a hit mark on him. You probably couldn't tell because the quality isn't all there. But, um, what you wanna do is you wanna get your shot off. Always. It's good to keep your sniper out as much as you possibly can, and that's also why I use the Dead Eagle for secondaries because it forces you to keep your your sniper out more. Just it just makes you better at sniping because it forces you to use it more. So what you do is when you get in a closer in a situation like that, get your first shot off, and instantly when you shoot, you want to press Y and pull out your secondary and pretty much just spray the hell out of them. Even if you miss, just shoot and just have your secondary, and by the time you pretty much resume down and everything, you'll have your secondary out and you can get to business, and if the person doesn't have extraordinary um, reaction time, then you can be pretty successful with that. Um, right here I get stunned, and what I should have done is instead of aiming down sights, I should have stayed at hip fire, at, I should have kept my... Digit Eagle at the hip, so I could have rotated a little bit faster to um, get my iron sights on him. So, <clears throat> also, there's another tip right there. If you get stunned, keep it at the hip until you actually see the person and you're ready to shoot them because you won't be able to turn fast enough. Right here, I'm on 9 sensitivity, I'm pretty sure. So, even at a high sensitivity, you won't be able to turn when you're stunned for shit. And don't be afraid to hard scope, guys. Um,. I barely even saw that guy for that second shot right there. If you're not sure, shoot. All right. No, you already have the distance on them. If you think that might be the person, because right there on my TV, I could not tell at all. I do not have the best TV. I had no idea if I was really looking at him or if it was a bush or I had no idea. <clears throat> but if you're unsure, just shoot. Just shoot because it's better than it's better shooting at a bush and getting nothing than not shooting another sniper than them sniping you because you thought they were a bush, you know? So, you know, always just safety precautions, just let around fly. And I'm not sure how I missed that hard scope. But also, like I was saying earlier, um, don't, uh, don't be afraid to hard scope. Look at these, all right, the hard scopes that I get, if I didn't hard scope, then, and I hear this guy, so I take out my secondary and... One two skittily daily's done, but um, if I'm missing these shots and I'm hard scoping, if I was quick scoping, would it take me twice the amount of shots? I even think I get this guy. I actually retreat because um, he's just doing too much work on me, and uh, he just has too much advantage with the automatic gun. And if it, I was hoping he'd come chase me, and I told Penetrator, "Hey, watch, he's gonna come around," and um. Penetrator gave it to him, but then his uh, friend took him out. I took out his buddy and got my uh, predator. And also, a uh, new thing I'm going to start doing is, uh, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I run low kill streaks, pretty much on every class. And a lot of people will say run low kill streaks on your sniping classes, just because um, it's hard to build up kill streaks. And um, hold on, I just want to talk about that right there. I got noob too, but I didn't get killed. So that means that guy shot on YouTube got a hit marker. What? Of course, what he's gonna do is he's gonna just shoot his second noob tube. So if you get noob tube and you don't die from it, never stay in the same spot because another noob tube's about to come. So if you get noob tube and you don't die, run, run away from where you just got noob tube because no one's coming for you. But anyways, <clears throat> can't really remember what I was talking about earlier. Now I was talking too much about noob tubes. But, uh, the whole... Oh, yeah, kill streaks. <sighs> a lot of people say when you want to quick scope and snipe and be more aggressive with a sniper, I, get, I consider this semi-aggressive sniping because I am... I'm not camping, but, like, I guess you could say I post up in some spots, but it's not like I, I'm fighting to get the C flag so I can s camp on the sniper's perch the whole time. I am moving around, and... <laughs> that guy, I waited for him to come back because there's no point in being aggressive when you don't need to, especially with a sniper. That is key. Do not be aggressive when you do not need to. You're not going to impress anybody, especially for people who don't record. Like, 
for me, I guess I do have an excuse if I want to go run at him and get an awesome 360 or I want to run at him and kill three of his friends with quick scopes and I get a clip, but with you guys, yeah, if you get three kills, a three, uh, a three piece with your sniper quick scoping, that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything because no one's ever going to see that. And <clears throat> if you can do that, then you already know you can do that. You know that's one of your abilities as a sniper, so uh, there's no need to prove that to anyone. Or to yourself, since you already know it. But, like I was saying with the kill streaks. Um, from now on, when I do snipers, I think I'm gonna run higher kill streaks. Like you see, I have the AC-130 right now. I accumulated that. I'm gonna save it until I die. I don't like using kill streaks when I'm still alive, just because. Um, uh, I don't know. I just like enjoy. I like getting my kill streaks because right when I get my kill streaks, I instantly go into aggressive mode and I just start pushing the other team a lot more than I would while I'm building my kill streaks. So right when I get my kill streaks, mob them. That's what you do. But um, the reason behind I'm running higher kill streaks on um, this is fail. Please just look away. Just pretend that didn't happen, right, guys? I'm sorry. I got a couple quick soaps that make up for that for that fail, epic fail. But uh, yeah. So the reasoning behind sorry, I'm taking forever to get to this. But the reasoning behind using higher kill streaks when you're using a sniper rifle is because if you run three, four, five, it's a good chance that you're gonna get all your kill streaks without having to use. Or since you can't use a kill streak, you're gonna have to get five raw gun kills. So if you're gonna get five raw gun kills, and what I mean by raw gun kills, I mean kills by just your gun, no air support. So if you're gonna, these guys are just going nuts on my AC-132. They were launching crazy shit at it. But if you're gonna get a five kill streak, you might as well get the most out of it, especially when you're using a gun that is a lot more difficult to. Um, to build kill streaks with, just because you know you have to be more, like I said, more recessive rather than aggressive. And um, I was pretty beast semtex I got. Um, quick scope that. See, I quick scope when I have to. It really wasn't called for for a lot of these longer shots, so I didn't do it. But um, the AC-130 definitely did help out my team. Um, it kind of kept them trapped down. They couldn't cap anything. We three capped them, I'm pretty sure, while they were, while I was in the AC-130. So we did uh, gain quite a significant lead. And um, right now it's just me and Penetrator playing and just a bunch of randoms. So when you're playing with randoms, you definitely want the biggest advantage you can possibly get. Um, my new thing is, if you're going to play with the randoms... Uh, sorry about that. I burped. Um... Oh, that guy got fucked up by that claymore. But um, if you're gonna play with randoms, then if you run sentry gun, it basically like just multiplies yourself because it's gonna do some, it's gonna hold down areas, and that's what you do yourself. So you're basically multiplying, or you're basically adding team members to your team when you have a sentry gun. So that's another tip I wanna. I encourage you guys to use is if you don't play with friends that often or sometimes you don't play with friends because I do that all the time when all my friends get off like it's getting late friend pantry had to go before his grandpa whooped his ass um I should have hit that quick scope that pissed me off but um yeah uh <laughs> sorry I I kind of lost my focus there for a second see you guys gamer tag right there oh, I said bitch nigga I thought it was kind of funny that was a nice quick scope. But, um, I lost track of what I was talking about, so I'll just talk about the gameplay. Right here, this guy's getting. He has a scar by the sounds of it. He has some sort of assault rifle. It's fully automatic, so I'm not trying to mess with that, especially when I'm not behind the cover. So, you gotta run the cover, let him get all aggressive on you. And then, um, this guy tries hiding, but, um, I go mob him with a deagle. And. A lot about a lot of Call of Duty is about when to be aggressive, when to be recessive. Like I said, you really need to know when to do what you got to do because right now, if I ran out right away for that one guy, then look at all those guys behind that rock. I know they killed me anyways, but <laughs> even getting all the way up there was kind of risky, being that I was a sniper and I had no teammates in front of me. Because you want to keep people with automatic guns further up. You have the sniper, you have the range. You want to keep that. 
further back just to make it more effective on them. You can lay cover down for your teammates and uh, you're less susceptible to being killed by assault rifles or SMGs so if you can stay back, stay back. Let the assault rifle guys get close and bring out the um, the teammates and then as they bring them out then you kind of just have to kill them. Uh, if you guys didn't see that, there's a guy laying down in the middle plane, and I looked at him about two times, and I just noticed that when I watched this back right now. I thought that was hilarious, but I didn't even notice him. He must have been cold-blooded or something. But final score, 36 and 7, using a sniper, hard scoping, being semi-aggressive. Hope you guys um, learn a little bit from this video. It isn't a rem remarkable sniping, but... It's just how to be successful with a sniper, especially on bigger maps like Afghan or Derail or Wasteland or something like that. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.